and shall all flesh see the salvation of God. What's he preaching? Salvation. Get saved. Get ready. Get on fire for God. Get with the plan. God laid it out. It's pretty simple. If you want to be rebellious, prepare for judgment. Prepare to be corrected of God. Go to John chapter 1. Go to John chapter 1. If you continue to reject the message that God wants to use you to preach to other people, then hey, just get ready for personal judgment. And yet the message all along has been this same Baptist end times revival that we preach here. Hard preaching, the gospel, hell is real, it's torture, it's torment, there's no rest day nor night. Get saved. Get baptized. Get rid of the sin in your life so God can use you more. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees, look out, <laughs> verse 25, and they asked him, and they said unto him, Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? Right? Why do you guys baptize? Why baptizest thou? What are you guys doing? Why are you Baptist? Baptist is a Christian. A Christian is a children of God. Baptists have always existed. Maybe not in name, but in heart, in spirit. I'm not ashamed to be a Baptist. I'm proud to be a Baptist. And look, the Bible uses the word proud in a dangerous way. Everybody's proud of themselves and they exalt themselves against God. I am proud of God for the gift He's given us to become Christians, to be Baptists. I'm proud to say I believe the Word of God. I am not ashamed of my heritage as being a Baptist. It's good to be a Baptist. We need more Baptists. Today the Southern Baptist Convention wants to take Baptists out of it. They want to, we're the Great Commission. Yeah, you're a bunch of phonies. Thank God the Southern Baptists are tucking their tail and removing that label. Most of the Calvinists have already done it. When a Presbyterian church and a Baptist church can hang out together, guess what? There's a problem. They're a bunch of stinking Catholics. They didn't come from the Baptist movement we come from, from John the Baptist. They came from John Calvin, a heretic, a reprobate, a pervert, and a murderer. That guy's in hell right now. I'm not from that lineage of Baptist. We didn't come from the Catholic Church. We came from the Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was on point. He taught the same thing that Adam heard, that Enoch preached, that every other man of God said. And here we are, we're doing the same thing. And Oh, you're just an old-fashioned. Hey, thank you for that. That's right. And you know what? We're independent. We don't have a Pope. We are Baptist, and we're going to stick to the fundamentals. Thank God that we're Baptist. As it is written in the book of the words of Esaias the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. He's saying, Get right with God. He is coming soon. And look, that's the same preaching you're going to hear at the end of the world, near the, the, the second coming of Jesus Christ. There's a parallel there. You are that John the Baptist. You are a Baptist. You're a man of God. You're a lady that knows how to preach the gospel. Tell people to prepare the way. Tell people to turn from trusting in themselves and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and get saved. We need to prepare a generation. That's our purpose here at this church. Look at verse 5. Again, he's preaching fire and brimstone and destruction. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. The crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth. That's that end times warning and judgment. Hey, behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. That's what Enoch preached. John the Baptist preached the same thing. Understand this. Enoch preached. It was the seventh from Adam. Early on in the Bible, Enoch preached. God's going to judge the earth. God's going to destroy it. You need to believe on God. What did we see in Jonah? Jonah preached, God's going to destroy your city. God, He will destroy your soul. You need to believe on God. Here comes John the Baptist. Judgment is coming. God's going to destroy it all. You need to believe on God. Here we are today, and we say, you know what? The end is nigh. God's going to destroy this earth one day. He's going to send fire and brimstone. He will judge the wicked. and pe Oh, people have been saying that for so long. Yeah, because that's the message from the beginning. Yeah. God knows what He's doing. And the message has always been the same. Judgment is coming. Salvation is free. It's easy. It's simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's not turning from your sin. Never has been.